Hey, this is Raphael Khan with OK Synthesizer here to talk to you about our new dual LFO module. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna put the uh, panel overview on the screen. You can see we have two identical channels flipped and there are no normal connections between the channels. So that means like, if you want to plug something into both channels, you're gonna need to mold it yourself. Uh, there's no connections internally between the two halves. So we've got the rate knob at the top, which simple enough it just changes the speed of the LFO and uh, just for a little extra utility we have this rate toggle down here with the light beside it both sides indicating uh, the polarity of the voltage and roughly how fast it's going so we have a slow mode which you can see is moving very slowly here and on the scope a medium speed one and a very fast one that even goes into audio rate territory underneath that we've got the morph control which smoothly blends from a sine to a triangle to a oh I passed it to a saw and then to roughly a square wave. This brings back to a sign now. So the start and end control is actually, in my opinion, what makes this module a little cool compared to some other LFOs I've seen. Basically all we can do is cut off the start and end of our LFO to make new shapes. So this is not a saw, this is like taken from the sign, cutting off both the front and the end.
make interesting shapes like this. So the low stepper also accepts CV input between negative five and positive five volts uh, to modify the knobs. I'm gonna let you all figure out what that does yourself. It's extremely straightforward. Okay, let's get into these bottom controls. What do they do? So the first one we're gonna do is reset because that's one of the simpler ones. Basically, whenever it gets a trig, it brings the wave back to the start. I have it plugged into my Beat Step Pro right now, and I'll show you what happens when I slam on the pads. Cool. Then we also have the Sync input, which accepts 16th note clocks. So I'm gonna bring over a clock from this pink cable. And what this does is changes the rate knob to now be a clock divider relative to the incoming clock signal. And it also modifies the behavior of the start and end knob. So now it cuts off in fractional increments. All right, so I'm gonna bring in another scope to show you what this last output does. This is the end of cycle output. And what this does is send out a trigger at the end of every single uh, wave cycle. And we can use this in interesting ways to, for example, sync another wave. So if I pull this wave out over here, and then we plug in the end of cycle out of the first one into reset of the second one. You can see now these waves are related to each other. I think that's enough for now. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out over email, uh, Instagram, whatever social media you can find us at. I'll put all the links in the uh, video description below. Uh, thank you so much for listening, and we uh, hope you enjoy this module. Thanks.